Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do another video on multi-picture live wallpaper because I seem to be getting a lot of viewers that um, is pretty confused about how to go ahead and get the different wallpapers for the different um, home screens. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you downloaded the applications um, that was listed in the instructional videos. Um, and I'll list those again in this video as well. But I have to assume that you have at least done that part and downloaded ADW Launcher, Minimalistic Text, um, Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper, uh, that you have at least uh, completed that task. Um, and when you've installed those applications, particularly with ADW Launcher, once you press the home button, which on Honeycomb is right here, on other devices, um, it pretty much looks the same. It looks shaped like a home key. Once you, when you first install ADW Launcher EX and you press that home key, a, a little box comes up that asks, okay, which home launcher do you want to use? You check the book. The little box, the check box at the bottom, and you check ADW Launcher EX. And that's where we are right now. We're at ADW Launcher EX. My multi-picture live wallpaper, I reset it so there shouldn't be any residual settings left there. So it's technically like we're starting off fresh here. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to ADW Launcher EX settings. Sorry, I should have touched the screen between there. But go to ADW Launcher settings. Now this is the new ADW Launcher EX, so it's com they made it compatible with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. So the menu button is up here. For some reason they haven't gotten rid of the menu button down there so you actually have two menu buttons but that's neither here nor there we'll go to ADW settings and you want to go to general behavior and we want to go to animation and effects and you want to scroll till you see wallpaper scrolling which is right here this setting right here and you want to make sure that that box is checked that is key critical you have to do that in order for multi live wallpaper to show the different home screens because without the, that box being checked there is no wallpaper scrolling it's staying static right where it is at the view that it's at regardless of which direction you go ahead and scroll on your screen so now that that is done, we are going to go to set our wallpapers. So we're going to long press, go to wallpapers, live wallpapers, and then multi-picture wallpaper. And as you can see, there is it's a black screen. It says picture is unavailable. That's because we haven't set one yet. So we're going to go to settings. And the first thing you want to go ahead and do, um, and it depends on how many home screens you have, different tablets, phones have different amount of home screens. With ADW uh, Launcher EX, um, I believe you can set up to like 9 or 10 home pages. I haven't gone so far as to try to get 10, but I think that's how many you can go ahead and put on there. I have seven right now. Like I said, other devices could have five. Um, you could set it all the way down to three. Um, it's really an individual situation with Android. Every everyone's uh, uh, ability to change those settings is completely up to them. So we're gonna go ahead and press this plus button. And as you can see, it pops up for select screen and it automatically goes to screen number one. All we need to do here is press OK. We're going to go ahead and press this little circle button again. 
as you can see it automatically pops up to populate a home screen number two we continue to go ahead and press OK and we will continue to do this until we have the amount of home screens that are available to us from ADW Launcher EX so just for the sake of uh, repetition we're gonna do a third page and then we're gonna start customizing so say for instance you have added all the home screens that you have available for ADW Launcher we're gonna go ahead and set our first home screen and we would just click picture source so you can go with a single picture that's a static picture it will stay the same um, with multi-picture -live, multi live wallpaper um, it allows you to double tap on the screen to make the wallpapers change and you want to go ahead and if you want that uh, capability when you download your wallpapers you want to put say for instance your video game uh, wallpapers put them in a video game uh, folder if you want a social uh, social pictures um, you want to go ahead and put all your social pictures into a folder and continue to do that for each home page that you want so single picture will give you a static picture to where it won't change when you double tap on the screen now we're gonna start with a single picture we hit on the single picture it's going to go ahead and access where do you want to get this picture from we're going to go to gallery because gallery gives me bigger pictures I can pretty much see more of what I want to go ahead and put associate with the home screen so usually I will go ahead because it's my home screen and use something architecturally um, and I happen to like this one even though it's not a home scene I like that one so I click on that that picture has been set so now we go back and we do screen number two and say for instance screen number two is our video game so we'll go actually go to picture folder and we'll choose the the folder path which is right here click there and then we will go down to pictures um, and make sure that you put all your pictures on your device storage and not your external SD card or your micro SD card because if you switch those out to another card say for instance all your pictures will be gone and you'll get that black screen like you saw at the beginning so we're gonna go to pictures and it's within my wallpapers and these are all the different uh, folders that I've created with a particular theme of pictures and we're gonna make that make it our video games so we just go ahead and press OK at this point and now we have put actually I didn't go ahead and OK that so we're going to do the path again go to pictures wallpapers and then video games press OK and then we'll press OK again so now you'll see right up there it actually says picture folder mount as the card picture wallpapers video games it shows the path that it's gonna go ahead and do and then we're gonna go to our third home screen picture source we're going to go to a picture folder there um, and let's say that we want to make that page movies so we'll click on movies press ok press ok and now you can see movies is displayed right there once we go back and I have seven home screens so four of my home screens is going to be empty the first second and third one should populate with some pictures the first of which is static the second two um, actually can go or dynamic they can change when I double tap the screen so we're gonna go back 
and we're gonna set wallpaper and as you can see <clears throat> this is our initial home screen this is the wallpaper that I set for the initial home screen so when I double tap you don't see anything happen but if I scroll over you'll see the video games when I double tap it'll go ahead and change to another video game picture double tap another video game picture now one thing you want to go ahead and know that when I double tap here because I've set a dynamic folder on the third home screen even though I'm tapping on the second home screen it's still going to change the picture on the third home screen that's just the way once I put your live wallpaper is set up. I have not found a way to stop it from doing that. So if you want a particular picture on a particular page, choose single picture. But if you don't mind it changing uh, with the double tap, go ahead and make a dynamic, put it in a put it in the folder, um, and select that folder with the page. So say for instance, with this, you see that it's Green Lantern and you see this one is uh, this picture right here so if I double tap here we'll try that again here you see that we have um, Avatar and here you see we have L.A. Noir. when I double, double tap here it changes this picture. Deus Ex is up there now and it also changes this picture. So, double tap here. Changes that picture to Harry Potter. Changes this picture to Hitman. So that's what's going to happen. So, I hope that was clear for everyone. Um, um, I'm sorry I didn't go ahead and explain it perhaps very well in the other videos, but I think this should go ahead and carry you guys through to the end to get to the uh, product that you want um, on your Android device. So, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment section and I will address them as soon as I possibly can. Please rate and subscribe. I really, really, really would appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to go ahead and get better at these videos. So hopefully this one was okay. And it explained things accurately to where you can go ahead and get things done. If you have any uh, videos that you want me to do on a certain topic, go ahead and let me know also in the description. I don't mind making these videos. They're kind of fun for me. So um, I would more than gladly make a video on something that you're interested in. Uh, so that's about it, everyone. Until next time, take care.